In the previous video, we discussed the physiological and psychological characteristics of six-year-olds. And now, let me please explain how these characteristics are connected with the teaching tools and techniques that we use for teaching them. First of all, it is important to remember that we need to use images. The images have to be bright and colorful and also consistent. Children need to see the same images for at least a certain period of time until they remember the word. This is explained by the high level of children's emotivity and in order to feel the emotional response from them, you have to be especially peculiar about the images. Next, after you have chosen the images, you can go to the use of pictograms. Uh, the use of pictograms uh, is explained uh, by the lack of learning experience in children and uh, also it is important to remember that pictograms have to be used consistently. I mean that in anti-class uh, we use the same pictograms uh, for all stages of learning and that is how we group uh, the sentence uh, and that is how we explain and let children understand uh, how the sentence is built. After you have chosen the pictograms uh, and decided about the images, uh, it is important to create uh, the variety of uh, teaching tools. In inter-class, uh, we use uh, a lot of teaching tools, like any tool you can imagine. We have textbooks, uh, which is a course book as well. We also have uh, classroom maps, uh, we have speaking maps, uh, we have cards, uh, we use worksheets, uh, and many, many other materials. It is explained by the low level of concentration. So during one class, uh, you will probably need uh, different materials to concentrate your students on what you want to tell them. Variety is a good word for the other important tool. We use a lot of learning activities. Learning activities are really, really various. We use chanting, we write a lot, we copy, we color, we also point and mime. Such a variety is explained by the impulsiveness of students. And to control their behavior, again, we need the variety of tools and activities. Every teacher usually has a question about teaching grammar, and uh, we are not an exception. Our teaching philosophy is based on the idea that students have to develop their language awareness, but there will be a certain age for this. And at the age of six, grammar is taught implicitly. We do not concentrate on grammatical rules, but we do concentrate on the language accuracy. As uh, we teach in non-native environment, uh, and we call this uh, environment passive, uh, our students uh, really have uh, many difficulties in developing their pronunciation. 
For this, we use good videos. Good videos help to uh, develop children's pronunciation, but also they have uh, a great impact on children's behavior. Because children mime, they can dance. Uh, these videos may be used as uh, a part of physical activity, and they are really important uh, because we should take into consideration the ability of our children to copy, to mime, and to parrot. And last but not least is playing games. Every teacher has a variety of games in their teaching arsenal. And it's no wonder that we do teach children with using games. And in our videos, like next videos, we will recommend the games which do not bring only fun, but also develop language awareness and help children to learn language better. In this lecture, we overviewed the teaching tools and techniques that should be used with teaching six-year-olds. They include colorful images, pictograms which are consistently used, the variety of activities, Grammar is taught implicitly and uh, we use the videos to develop language accuracy because students uh, parrot and mime really well. And games uh, is uh, one of the most important activities in the language classroom.